Well, it's time to get a bite on the Texas bucket list. And this week, we are just southeast of San Antonio at a little country store that's known for their burgers and a few special things on the menu. We're at the Kai Caster Country Store. Just a 30 minute drive from the San Antonio Riverwalk, you'll find Kai Caster, an unincorporated community out in God's country. Here you'll find the Kai Caster Country Store and Grill on the corner. And the first thing I wanted to do is make sure I was pronouncing this kooky looking name right. Kai Caster Country Store. Kai Caster. Boy, that's one of those words you look at and you're like, boy, I could go three different ways. Yeah, you definitely could. Scott Hudson moved to Texas with his family when he was a young boy back in 81. I remember going from snow to being hot in the middle of winter. Today, Scott can take the heat and that's kept him in the kitchen his whole career. Prior to creating the Kai Caster Country Store in 2017, Scott formulated fancy burgers for a big time Texas burger franchise. No meetings about having <laughs> meetings about how we're gonna roll this product out. Yeah. It's just, it's much easier. With that experience, Scott is known for his burgers and his meat is sourced locally, as in from right down the road from a local rancher. I pick him out while they're on the hoof and we know where that's been, the whole supply chain, until we grind it and put it in the patty and serve it to our customer. And it makes a huge difference. Those cows get nervous when they see you show up. Yeah, I guess they do, although they don't, they only meet me once, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, I wanna take it for a little ride. Right. Jump on in. <laughs> the fresh ground burgers are a big draw, but there's something fishy around here because Scott is also known for something else the spicy ahi tuna sandwich. Tuna was uh, basically customers saying, we want a fish option. The ahi tuna thing was a good surprise for me. You don't see it very often, but you know, here you do. I love a good piece of sushi grade tuna, so we decided to do ahi. And it's our most expensive sandwich right now and sells extremely well. There's another popular dish that's quite a conundrum out in the country as well, poutine. I don't even think I know what poutine is. <laughs> poutine is traditionally French fries, Wisconsin white cheddar cheese curds, and brown gravy. That's it. Poutine, that, that's something that I've enjoyed for a very long time. The main reason that's on our menu is to utilize more of the animal. We've got all these beef bones, and the most logical thing to make out of the bones is a beef stock. So brown gravy, there you go. And what do you put brown gravy on? Poutine. Never had anything like it. It's not too many times we go across Texas and go to country stores and see ahi tuna and poutine. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Scott's cook, Aubrey Stewart, got to work on whipping me up these two exotic offerings. And he starts by toasting the bun, frying up some fries, and finding the perfect piece of fish. Beautiful piece of fish here. Yeah, the real trick to it is staying level. That's when the tuna takes a dive on the grill. I have to build it very quickly, because it cooks probably within about two to three minutes. Oh yeah, it doesn't take long. Especially when you're cooking tuna like that, but it already looks beautiful. After a few dashes of spice, Aubrey races to put the sriracha mayo, lettuce, and tomatoes on the bun, and we're ready to reel in the sandwich. If you're doing ahi, you want to see that red filet. The beautiful pink on there, yes, yeah. Yes, sir, yeah. Then the poutine, a traditionally Canadian dish, is put together by topping fries with the homemade gravy. It's Texas gravy. We like our gravy thick. We like stick to your ribs gravy. Poutine up north is gonna be a little bit more runny. We do Texas style because we're serving Texas. Add some cheese curds and we're done. Well, definitely an assortment of smells coming off this plate at the Kai Caster Country Store with a little bit of that gravy and a little seared ahi tuna. My nose doesn't know what to expect and neither does my mouth, so that's why we're just gonna go straight for that gravy made in-house and it is thick as a hot Texas summer night. Look at that. That is definitely not the stuff I had on my chicken fried steak back in high school. Most people even in Canada are gonna open up gravy packets to make their brown gravy. And we, we just don't do a lot of opening up packets here. That brown gravy is thick and delicious, not too salty, but then you add those cheese curds in there nips it with a little bit of salt, and it is sensational. Tastes really good. So there comes a time in your life we have to push the poutine aside and go straight for the seared ahi tuna sandwich. Just never thought that would be at a country store. Wow, that tuna's got some kick. I love fish, so it's like, easy choice. It's definitely got a lot of spice to it, and that spice is lingering on the back of my tongue. Wow. The tuna was just perfectly done. You know how you want it so raw in the middle and just seared on the outside? 
and the sriracha wasn't overpowering. Such fantastic flavor and a nice lighter sandwich, comparatively. Definitely not the tuna sandwich your mom used to send you to school with. That was great. I'm definitely coming back and I'm probably gonna have the eye tuna again. This isn't a sorry excuse for a meal. You can't knock it until you try it. That's all I gotta say about that. Well, if you're looking for some faraway flavors like poutine from Canada or a fantastic ahi grilled tuna sandwich, coming to the Kai Caster store in the middle of Kai Caster is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. So in a location like this out in the country area where there's maybe not a lot of restaurants and the few places that are out here are fast food joints. Uh, it's, it's really nice to have something that is unique and different. Mm -hmm.